from Studio 113 in Walson Hall, this is MBC News. Hi, Muhlenberg, and welcome to MBC News. We're your hosts, Lizzie Cognini and Julia Lipkowitz. So, Julia, how excited are you that Thanksgiving is right around the corner? Oh, I'm so excited to be off classes and with my yeah. family and eating lots of food. Oh, my God. So, what's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Stuffing, for sure. Ooh. And pecan pie. Of course. Oh my god. I'm a big fan of sweet potato pie with the marshmallows on top. So good. Yeah. Well, anyway, in Muhlenberg news, Phi Sigma Sigma is having their annual philanthropy event at Java Joe's this Friday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Stop by to make PB&J sandwiches, decorate cookies, and enter raffles for amazing prizes. All proceeds will go towards their national philanthropy for school and college readiness. Bird's Got Talent is this Wednesday at 7 p.m. in the event space. Don't miss out on a great night to cheer on your fellow, fellow Muhlenberg students. Tickets are $7 at the door. Also, Thursday at 11 p.m. in Miller Forum, the acapella groups Girls Next Door and Acafellas will be combining forces for a fun evening of singing. The theme is pretty and plaid, so make sure to wear your flannels. They will be taking donations for Turning Point of Lehigh Valley, an organization that provides shelter and support to victims of domestic violence. Now, out of the Muhlen bubble. Donald Trump's win has caused massive protests across the nation, sparking people to demand that the Electoral College vote for the popular vote in this election. If this happens, it will be the first of its kind in U.S. history. Also, Atlanta-based TV station Bounce TV is bringing back reruns of The Cosby Show in December, even though Bill Cosby is about to go to trial over his sexual assault cases. The TV network says they think audience members can distinguish between Cosby the man and Cosby the character. So, that's all for the news. Now to Julia for the latest in sports. Thanks, Lizzie. In sports news, we start with field hockey, where the Mules came up victorious in the ECAC championship, winning 3-0. In the game against Kane University, Rachel Stroh, Emily Boyle, and Taylor Smith each scored a goal for the team. The Mules finished the field hockey season with 18 wins and only 3 losses. At the NCAA Mid-East Regional, the Muhlenberg cross-country teams qualified three Muhlenberg students for the NCAA Division III Championships, senior Jared Flank, sophomore Corey Mullins, and junior Jamie Piccilio. Flank placed seventh in his meet and is the first Muhlenberg runner to be accepted to the NCAA three times. Mullins placed 11th, joining only three other past Muhlenberg sophomores to qualify for the NCAAs. Piccilio finished fourth in the women's race as the first Muhlenberg woman to enter the cross-country NCAAs in both her sophomore and junior years. We wish them luck at the championships next Saturday. The Muhlenberg football team ended its regular season with a 31-12 win at, the Morav at Moravian on November 12th. This victory gives the Mules a season record of nine wins and one loss. Though Muhlenberg was not selected for the NCAAs, they will have the opportunity to go up against Delaware Valley in the second annual Centennial Mac Bowl series on Saturday. This bowl series involves the top two teams from each conference who are not selected to the NCAA Division III championship. Finally, in wrestling, sophomore James Brandatoni placed fourth in his first collegiate tournament at the Ursinus Bowl Brawl. Freshman Josh Hickey, Austin Sherman, and Cam Watson, and sophomore Gennaro Kermanara also won a pair of bouts for Muhlenberg. Congrats, Mule congrats Mules. Now on to David with the weather. Thanks, Julia. Take your raincoats off and put your shorts on because we got a hot week ahead of us. This Thursday, it's sunny with a high 60, low of 35, 10% chance of rain. We move on over to Friday. Sun's still out with a high 64, low of 38, and about 10% chance of rain. We're jumping over to Saturday. It's partly cloudy, but only a high 64, low of 37, about 20% chance of rain. And then on Sunday, get your raincoats back on because it's going to be a little bit of showers with a high of 43, low of 32, about 6% chance of rain. We're jumping on over to Monday, with mostly cloudy, with a high of 42, low of 29, and 0% chance of rain. And what I say, people, keep your shorts on, because for the rest of this week, we got sun. On Tuesday, it's partly cloudy, with a high of 45, low of 28, 0% chance of rain. And we move on over to Wednesday, with a sun of clouds, and a high of 48, and a low of 35. Back to you, Lizzie. Thanks, David. That's all for NBC News this week. We're your hosts, Lizzie Cognini and Julia Lipkowitz. Stay classy, mules. Have a great Thanksgiving break.